After 146 years, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus folds up its tent tonight for good. Tony DeCopel is on New York's Long Island for the finale of the greatest show on earth. Tony. The Ringling Brothers Circus is older than baseball, Coca-Cola, and Disney. And when the performers take their final bow in that 47-foot ring behind me, they'll leave a mile-wide hole in American culture. For one last night, the acrobats will swing and soar. The animals will gallop and roar, and the clowns will come out for a smile. But come Monday, the greatest show on earth will be no more. Jonathan Lee Iverson is the ringmaster for tonight's grand finale. Oh, it's dangerous, it's exciting, it's, it's awe-inspiring all at once. And so you have that sense of sadness that you're not going to be able to give that to children of all ages on such a massive scale. People poured in for the final shows. They came for a glimpse of their childhood or to give their own children a taste of the world's largest circus before it's gone. There are future generations that will never get to have those memories. Jean Marie Walters and her mother Kay traveled more than 300 miles to see one of the last performances. It's the magnitude of Ringling Brothers won't be seen again. Let's hope that the smaller circuses that are around the country are still able to survive. Ticket sales had been falling for years before Feld Entertainment, the company that owns Ringling Brothers, announced that they'd be ending their Elephant Act in May of last year under pressure from animal rights activists. The following January, after crowds shrunk even more, Feld announced that this year would be the last. One of the clowns, Davis Vassallo, says the beginning of the end was smartphones, which put a show in the palm of everyone's hand. I have a daughter and she's always on the phone. She can see everything from her mobile phone. So just thinking time has changed a little bit. Now that it's going to be gone, I think people will regret it. For more than 100 performers, tonight's final show is the end of an era, but also the end of a job. Most of the animals belong to the trainers, so they'll be looking for work too. But Elaine, rather than cry because it's over, many of the performers have decided to smile because it happened. Tony, thanks.